Well, residents on Chicago's northwest side are getting a chance to voice their support or concerns about housing migrants at Wright College. It comes as hundreds of migrants have been sleeping at police stations across the city. We've showed you this issue. CBS 2's Asal Rizai live outside of Wright College this morning, and that's where the meeting will be held. Asal. Yeah, Audrina, Ryan, hundreds of migrants are expected to be housed here at Wright College. A temporary solution to what you just mentioned, those crowds we've seen at local police stations. And it's an issue that's really been at the forefront for weeks now, as we've seen these migrants, asylum seekers being moved to different shelters and makeshift shelters across our city. Many of them sent here from the border by Governor Texas. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, I should say. We've seen shelters for them on the west side at the Salvation Army in Pilsen, and just recently a respite center opened in Little Village, and now Wright College will join in on becoming a place of relief. 38th Ward Alderman Nick Spasato says it's an issue that's all temporary, as the plan is to house migrants here from June 1st to August 1st. That's the one thing I find the most difficult to believe, that on August the 1st, if they don't have a place to house these people, are going to say, sorry, folks, you're on the street, or you're going back to the police station. And a police source says right now there's about 800 migrants at police stations across the city. Right now, the plan is to move at least 400 of those to Wright College. The community input meeting will be here inside the school's gym at 6 o'clock tonight. I'm live this morning. I saw Rizai, CBS 2 News.